Hey, what's up with you guys? Thank you for coming back. So today we'll speak about one of the most common questions, what is an ethical hacker versus what is a black hat hacker? So a white hat hacker is an ethical computer hacker or computer security experts that specialize in penetration testing and other methodologies to ensure the security of organization information systems versus a black hat hacker, which is a malicious hacker with a malicious intent. By the way, I believe that the name conventions are coming from the Western cowboy movies that I love to see where I was uh, much, much younger, uh, where the heroic and antagonistic uh, cowboys were wearing a white hat and black hat respectively. There is also a third kind of hacker called gray hacker that acts with good intents but sometimes without permission. We will not talk about it today, but we have a lot to cover, so let's start. So the basic concept of cybersecurity threat is a malicious act. And this can lead to data breaches, record exposures like medical, banking, social security numbers, etc. And usually done by hackers or crime groups, government, and terrorists. Now, there are many forms of cyber attacks. It can be phishing and malware and DDoS attacks and advanced web application uh, uh, attacks, IoT attacks, bot attacks, etc., 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 and I can speak about it for weeks uh, now. And since the world become more digitized, these attacks can impact you everywhere, from your handset, your phone handset, to your mobile laptops, computers at home, to your IoT devices, your TV or refrigerator or, or oven even, if uh, connected uh, to the internet. So there is a lot of variety of attack, let's say, surface that can be exploited and leveraged against victims. So we understand that cybersecurity is a broad field of hacking, right? You can be an ethical hacker or you can be an unethical hacker. So penetration testing falls under the category of ethical uh, hacking, which the hacking is performed deliberately to assess the exposure of a network or a system. From my experience, one of the advices I can give is to discuss it very thoroughly on both sides, the company that invited the assessment and the vendor that provides the assessment itself. So to agree on the procedure, to agree on which part of the network on system uh, uh, to assess what is allowed, what is not allowed, the time frame of this uh, uh, assessment, the type of attacks that will be generated in order to make sure you do not pass any line or you do not create, even by mistake, any impact on the company. To get started with ethical hacking, I suggest to join various communities of hackers. I will leave a link, the one that I uh, prefer or I recommend, which called Hacker One, so you can review and decide if to join or not. There are various stages in penetration testing activities, and one of maybe the most basic phase is called pre-engagement. In pre-engagement, assess the entire process, including which information should be gathered. And information gathering is very important. An expert categorizes it into two segments, I will call it. One, passive information gathering, and the second is active information gathering. With passive information gathering, this is the pre-attack stage where information is gathered about the system or network that is targeted. 
in this phase, the pen tester is not allowed to use tools or gadgets to recover security flaws in the system. Rather, he needs to do everything manually, like identifying IP addresses or content of interest and similarly. And these actions are performed using a public tools and techniques. So the analysis or the assessment is simulating the general public capability without any special expertise. In active information gathering, the penetration is performed in full over the, the system under test with the authorities or the owners in full awareness. In this stage, a proper infrastructure mapping is performed along with scan for exposed vulnerabilities. In this stage, there are many activities definitely that are trying out with many tools, many times developed by the penetration tester by himself. It can be DDoS attacks, it can be data breaches, it can be brute force, it can be attacks on availability and continuity of the business, and even calling or sending emails or trying phishing, phishing attacks on employees to try to trick them to provide their credentials. There is a lot of material about ethical uh, hacking and many courses about it. I will leave one that I really like in, in the description so you can uh, check. The art of exploitation. So definitely the world is changing. The digital transformation is changing our lives. We see more application becoming public facing, becoming more centric, mean they are more vulnerable. And the sophistications also of the attackers is getting higher. So we need the right technology to fight back. And to fight back, we need to think about holistic solutions zero trust solutions that protect the endpoints and the branches organization, that protect the infrastructure, but also the application level, that have the ability to have the behavior capabilities in order to learn the traffic, to learn the characteristics, to identify malicious traffic versus legitimate traffic. Definitely there are many solutions and we don't have the time to speak about all of them here, but some of them are solutions to protect the infrastructure and applications like DDoS solutions, solution to protect the advanced web application attacks like web application firewalls, bot managers, cloud native protectors to protect the workload in the cloud as we are moving our applications to the public cloud. Definitely a lot of information. I will leave a lot links below in the description for you to read about and feel free also to send me any questions or suggestions and I will definitely address them. Tools for ethical hacking and definitely there are four basic ones that I, I want to speak about or at least recommend and here they are. The first one is Metasploit. This is one of my favorites. It has a huge potential and lets you work in a variety. With Metasploit, you can conduct pen testing activities, you can run spot checks on vulnerabilities, discover the network of any unwanted IP addresses, and scan the ports. It also lets the hacker exploit models of individual hosts. The next one is Angry IP Scanner. With this tool, the right attacker can resolve host name, get MAC address, and gather data about the scan's IPs. The third tool that I like is EtherCAP. And with this tool, you have a built-in features for host analysis. It is a cross-platform and best to check for man-in-the-middle attacks. It's also simplified sniffing in love of connections. Last but not least, Network Stumbler. With that, it helps to monitor non-broadcasting wireless networks. It's very popular with hacking enthusiast circles. Now for a specific ethical hacking certificates. Let's see what we have. So first one is certified ethical hacking certification. The second one is GIAC, G-I-A-C penetration tester. The third one is offensive security certified professional. And the last one is CREST, C-R-E-S-T. 
I think any of these four will give you the right in-depth understanding, skills, capabilities, and even the tools to become a penetration tester. So I really recommend to look in more details about these certifications. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more topics like that, or you have more ideas for new topics, please send me your comments. And don't forget, subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Until the next time, see you.